what's up welcome back to another video it's creative gal welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of tips on how to grow your roblox channel or even start one it's really fun to do youtube and i want other people to experience it too i might not be famous so like it's, it's not like i can give you guys perfect tips but i can still make you pretty successful so all these tips are going to help benefit you and they might sound pretty common other people might say this but i'm gonna go a little bit deeper into them and actually explain why you have to do these things okay so let's get started so the number one thing that you have to really focus on is personality you can't be very bland you can't just be like hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today we're going to be playing roblox you got to be like hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today we're going to be playing roblox sorry that sounded weird <laughs> But you just have to have a little bit of personality. We all have a really amazing personality and some people are too shy to show it. It's scary to be on camera at first. It's scary to talk to a microphone and know a bunch of people are gonna be watching it. But over time, you really improve and you really get better on how to talk to it. So I would recommend talking, maybe making a video. You don't have to post that video. You could just practice, I guess. Practice makes perfect. And I have almost 200 videos and I'm still not perfect. So it takes a lot of time, but you gotta believe that you can do it and don't be scared. Your personality is amazing. Show it to the world. So the next thing I can't stress enough is thumbnails. Now, thumbnails are extremely important for your growth on YouTube. Make your thumbnails high quality and make yourself look professional. Looking professional makes people take you seriously and be like, I can see some really like good potential in this YouTuber. So it's really good to make good thumbnails and it can make people who see your video on their recommended click your video. Thumbnails are one of the first things people see when they see your video. So you have to make a good first impression or they're not gonna click. So I used to use this app called Pixar to make my thumbnails, which is free on iPhone. And I think it's probably on Android too. But now I use Photoshop, but you don't need Photoshop to make good thumbnails. Like you can use a bunch of different apps, put them together. There's so many different ways you can make thumbnails. It's crazy. I'm not gonna go into how to make thumbnails today. If you guys really enjoyed this video, I might do a thumbnail tutorial in the future. Yeah, there's. <laughs> you just have to have really good thumbnails. So people see that and they're like, oh my gosh, that thumbnail is really good. I'm gonna click on their video. I'm gonna subscribe. And it's just gonna keep growing your channel and make you a better person on YouTube. The next thing that is really important to your growth is editing now a lot of people post videos thinking they're gonna get thousands of likes thousands of views thousands of subscribers from just posting a video unedited with no interesting things in it me personally I have a lot of trouble focusing and if it's a video when it's just like 20 minutes long just them talking like there's awkward silences like I'm gonna click off the video it's just how it's gonna be because I cannot focus to an awkward silence video no music like no and what i think is kind of stupid i can't i can't watch those videos where people just talk in the chat either like it's better to have a microphone with your voice don't be scared of your voice don't be shy about it like if you want to be successful fast make sure to use your voice so it engages your viewer more it makes them watch to the end maybe even press that subscribe button <laughs> i personally use premiere pro now but i used to use imovie there's a lot of different free applications that you can use to edit and imovie is one of them you can just do a little research search about editing free editing whatever device you have and you can find some really good options until you grow and you want to go a little bit more professional <laughs> the editing in this video is probably not even that good because like i don't really have anything to edit since obviously this is just me talking the next really important thing it kind of goes along with thumbnails is your title now having an engaging amazing title that everyone wants to click is going to help you so 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 much titles like thumbnails are so important to your growth somebody's gonna see your title with your thumbnail having a really 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 catchy title is gonna help you with people clicking on your video so in titles i would recommend making some words capitalized or making the whole thing capitalized because people don't want to see a whole lowercase title because it looks unprofessional and it doesn't catch their eye if i saw a video that said playing roblox with my brother in lowercase i i'm sorry but i wouldn't click on that but if i saw a title with some words capitalized and something at the end that said very funny 
I might actually click that. <laughs> so it all depends on your title. Titles are really important to people clicking on your video and subscribing and growing your channel. The next thing that's really important that not a lot of people talk about is the video tags and description. If you guys don't know what video tags are, they're when you go to YouTube Studio, you scroll down and you see a section that says tags and that's basically what it is. So tags help you come up in search results because you put keywords in like, so let's say your video was about Bloxburg, you would put Roblox in the tags, Bloxburg, funny, like it, everything related. And descriptions are really important too. Make sure you don't write short descriptions like I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's not gonna help you. When YouTube puts you in search results, they see the keywords in your description. And so if I put, hey guys, I'm playing Roblox Bloxburg today and somebody searched Roblox Bloxburg, my video will come up most likely, probably not first, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It would start to come up. So having a good description is very very important to people finding your video and having a lot of tags will help your video come up in search results and maybe even on that home page the next thing that's really important too is engagement with your fans now engaging with your fans is really important people love engagement hardening comments responding to your comments and doing all that stuff really helps your channel everybody loves to get noticed by their favorite youtuber so you need to be that person's favorite youtuber you need to put yourself in that spot by responding to your fans now you do have to be careful though because there is spam comments out there so if it sounds overly nice sadly it's probably not real like i liked your video can we be friends but engagement with your fans maybe even going to their channel and commenting on their video takes five seconds can do a big difference in your future the last topic i want to talk about today is patience and having fun while doing youtube you can't just do it for the money because you're gonna quit right away. You might not even make it to 100 subscribers if you're like that. You need YouTube to be a hobby. You need to focus on YouTube. You need to like put your heart into it in order to grow and get better. And having your patience is very important to you. You can't grow in a day. It takes so long to grow, but if you keep going, it'll go by fast and you'll be big in no time. I've been doing YouTube for almost two years now and you might look at other channels. You're like, oh my God, they got 100,000 subscribers in their first year. Don't compare yourself to others. This is something I struggle with. I mean, oh my gosh, you got a thousand subscribers a day. Like I compare myself to that and I like, I'm sad after that because like, I feel like I'm not good enough, but it's not like that. You just haven't been discovered yet. You're really talented, all of you guys. And if I can have 2000 subscribers, you can, you can too. Like, I know I'm not big, but I would have never thought I would be where I am now. Like to be honest so make sure you have a lot of patience and have fun while doing youtube anyways guys i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did make sure to smash that like button subscribe turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video sunday's video will be the piggy and blocksburg video i'm pretty sure so stay tuned for that but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video i believe in you you can do this